Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. This is Vita Fuser. In our last episode, we found out that Miles Edgeworth is being accused of murder. There seems to be a pretty good solid case against him. We'll have to find out who our opponent is because uh, Miles Edgeworth definitely ain't it. I know who it is, and boy, it is going to tax my voice something fierce. <sighs> Karma? That's right, Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. Joy! He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. He is a god of prosecution, right? A god! That's a good thing you're uh, going against someone who's punched out a few in his time. <laughs> Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Huh, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Heh! <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. It's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. Ugh! So was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. No! Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years! He's as ruthless as me, times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Maya! Huh? I could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Huh? I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. And what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Oh, well, there he is. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Edge Miles Edgeworth. Defense is ready, Your Honor. There he is. Uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. Do you seriously think I would not stand here if I were not completely prepared? Right! My apologies! He's even got the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What about this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in the charge of this case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident. Now! Yes, sir! Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at the map. <coughs> wow. The murder happened on Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m., he heard two pistol shots. Or she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went toward the boat rental shop. Huh. There's the map. Testify to the court about the arrest. Now! Wait! wait Mr. Von Karma! Yes? Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling the proceedings. Uh-uh-uh. Wrong. There is only one thing you need to do here. 
You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Yes, of course. You're quite right. No, he's not. The rest of Edgeworth. A man called into that station around 30 minutes after midnight. He headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Alrighty. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now! You can press everything you want, but this guy is going to uh, make sure you don't get anywhere. And if you wonder why I'm pitching my voice down this deep, I'll actually show you. A man. There was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Objection! That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. Hey! Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today I've summoned the woman who is camping. A lot of heart. What happened next, Detective? Yeah, he's got like the second deepest objective objection I've heard. With the deepest being in the Miles Edgeworth investigations. God, that is gonna tax my voice hard. Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart, fatally. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well, the court accepted the bullet into evidence. Well, why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right. Sorry, Your Honor. The murder weapon was decisive evidence. What makes it decisive? the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from his right hand, except Edgeworth's left-handed. What? Order! Order! So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Accepted into evidence. Members of the court, we now have the pistol and the murder, and the bullet found in the body. Detective! Yes, sir? Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Huh. Hey, Nick. What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. What would you expect? She's a freaking spirit medium. Nick, he's glaring at me. Very well. I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. I need a lozenge. It sounds like I've smoked about 50 packs a day. Uh, me? <clears throat> ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. 
The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Let's see, court record. Hang on! Fired three times! This is bad. It makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Well, Judge, I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However, you wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well, I'm somewhat fatigued and I will take a brief break. I call my witness after the recess. Oh, I bet you will. Which will last ten minutes. Judge, Yes? What are you doing? A ten minute recess. Now! Believe it or not, Manfred von Karma is actually based off of current Japanese prosecutors. You'll see why in a bit. But, but wait, I... Bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man! Yes! Uh, this court will take a ten minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. Uh, hmm. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was it you in that boat? Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me. I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. You don't know. You were right there. I had a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time he'd shot himself. You mean it was suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. I'm not even convince anyone of that. Say Maya. Huh? What? Any progress with Mia? Oh, sorry. It's no good. I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? If I can't call my sister, I may as well not be here, right? No, I need you here. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts. Nick, you're not making her feel better. It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Everyone has their off days. I've just been getting lucky lately. You never know when my luck is going to run out. Really? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Right! Don't jinx this case any more than it already is! It's bad for my heart. But sorry. Alrighty, here we are. Court is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, call your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? There she is. Lotta Hart, your research student at a university. That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. I don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? Y'all need to learn some manners. Understand? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, very well. Your testimony, please. <coughs> it was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. 
Then there was another bang. There wasn't a narrow thing on the lake but that boat. Enough. Huh? Judge! She happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo. Accept as evidence. Well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Order! I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have order immediately. As a witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on that lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Order! 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 I will have order! Well, Judge. The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well, the score finds the defendant. Objection! Wait, Your Honor! I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination? We have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words and they all read guilty. You lose. Or do you claim to have found a contradiction in our testimony? Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then I will have you held in contempt of court. Uh, Nick, contempt? Contempt of court, you know? I guess I understand. Well, what are you gonna do? Yeah, there's testimony. You have to press every single statement. This is incredibly bad, but we have no choice. Very well. I pray for your sake this isn't a waste of time. All that. Just after midnight. It was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Yeah, well, yes. I know you want to find contradictions, but really? Uh, I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. Is it my car? Why are we camping there anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. All sounds suspicious. Press further. Be more specific. What does the witness's motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. Well, I'm the one who gets to say that. Well, then say it already. Objection sustained. Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. Heard the bang. So you weren't looking at the lake at the time? Nope. I looked after I heard the noise. She said that already. I asked you to find contradictions, not leisurely chat with the witness. Hey, Two gents in a boat. You just clearly see the two men. Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? No, it's not! I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, uh, Cor- You're lying! 
The witness has testified she saw them. There's also a photo. You best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. She jumped in quick. He's hiding something. I'm saying there's witness coaching going on. Another bang. Were you watching the very moment the shot ran out? Well, yeah, sure. No, you weren't! You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless! Contradictions, Mr. Wright, not meaningless babble. Who the heck do you think you are? Nyarla up? On karma, I think I hate you. He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? And everything on that boat. Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. That sounds pretty sure. Press further. How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake. It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... Stop doing that! Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. Ugh. No need for further questions. Objection sustained. That's my job. Sustained. Yes, of course. Oh, great. Enough! I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you are unable to find a contradiction in a testimony worth noting. So, great. We're going to be held in contempt of court. Your Honor! You keep your promise. Mr. Wright... I'm afraid that I will have to penalize any further outbursts by holding you in contempt of court. Ouch! And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh-huh. Nick, Lotta's testimony is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know what you mean. But I can't say anything. What can I do? I believe we covered all the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, please take the stand. Hold it! Who was that? It was me! Maya? There was something wrong. You need to use the facilities. No, I don't. A lot of heart. Your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you're actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful you actually saw my Aunt Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. Hey! Lotta! Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down! The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lotta. What's a big idea treating me like some kind of criminal? I saw him. I swear it. I saw Edgeworth. Enough! Judge, declare the defense in contempt of court. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard, escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He's in contempt of court and must leave. No! No! Wait! I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Nick's innocent. Ha! What's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix? Right. Wrong! Wrong! What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony and I have a right to cross-examine her again. Order! 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 You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. And the judge has got enough. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. What? Miss Lotta Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her again. B but he's in contempt of court! No, I am. If you're gonna arrest someone, arrest me! Hmm... Very well! Maya Faye! 
You will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. Maya. Ugh, I care not for this melodrama. Now, I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. Running out of time, gotta find a contradiction in there or else. Begin your cross-examination. Do not press this, whatever you do. Instead, present the picture. Gotcha. Gotcha, Miss Hart. Finally. What? Y'all got what? Look at this photograph. Phoenix, don't quote Nickelback, please. Photo I took? The very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So? So? This picture was taken with professional, high-quality film, right? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men in the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What? Hey. Mr. Wright is a point, and not just in his hair. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony. That is witness coaching! And witness coaching is freaking illegal! Yet now she said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart? What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course I said I could, and I meant I could. Then testify to the circumstances of your sighting. Did it! I finally found a hole in Mr. Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. How Edgeworth was seen. You're right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grits. So once I finished setting up my camera and got back in the car, still I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out in the lake, I looked out with my binoculars. See? No problem. You use binoculars. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one had better be good. Alrighty. Third statement. Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars! Yesterday you mentioned you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well, yeah. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars, for that? Hey! She's lying! I got doubts about your camera, too. Was that really to take pictures of a meteor shower? The camera's irrelevant to this case. You can't say that for certain. Mr. Wright, is the camera really relevant to this case? If you believe it is, you may continue with this line of questioning. But know this. If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Well, Mr. Wright, do you wish to press further about the camera? Damn, straight we do. Make it or break it time. The camera's of utmost importance, Your Honor. It's perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Maybe I went a little overboard there. No, you didn't. Very well. Miss Hart, you will testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, hear ya. The camera was set up to take pictures of a meteor shower. No, it was not. 
Pressing it will get you nowhere. Present. It's tuned to noises. Objection. You are photographing shooting stars? That's a lie. Says who? Oh, if Makoto Naegi were here, he'd nail you good. I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. Ooh! Mr. Riot, what are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. Hang on one moment. Sorry about that. Got a delivery. Did they use a freaking bigger box? So, the witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. Hey! Well then, what exactly was she photographing? We got evidence. Take a look at this. She is trying to photograph Gordy. Miss Hart, this is what you were trying to photograph. A newspaper article? Gordy? Oh, the sighting of the Gord Lake. Well, Miss Hart, I, I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's see a proof I was trying to take a photograph of this here Gordy. I have it. I have your proof. Intriguing. Let's see it. And no joking around this time, please. What is this proof? It's a camera. Because it has a microphone attached to it. The, the proof is your own camera. Hey! Your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, this photograph here was taken when a gun fired on the lake. And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you'd set up your camera to respond to loud noises. Order! Order! I see! I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure you did. Well, Miss Hart? You were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah. Not bad. Are all you lawyers that smart? So smart, boy, I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you just used several precious minutes of our time to prove is nothing more than the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. Ouch, dude. Hey. But as she so succinctly said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the thing about Gordy for some reason. I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart, why did you hide the fact you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please revise your testimony. Right, fine, I'll testify. Won't change nothing, though. Something will change. It has to. And I'm gonna spot it. <sighs> Lada's new testimony. Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. I'm an investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping down by the lake. But that's all I was hiding. 
When I heard the bang, I looked right out that thing. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. When I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, and I got heard another gunshot. I was looking right at the boat the whole time, crossed my heart and hoped to fry. Oh, really? Witnesses' testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no bearing on this case. There is no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. Uh, hmm. I claim the defense is right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Well, Karma's up to something, I know it. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because why? Was there a contradiction? Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something in mind. Ha! That would be a first. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. You understand this is your last chance at a cross-examination, Mr. Wright. If there is no problem with the testimony this time, we will let the, the, let the witness leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'll announce my verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Nope, no pressure. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need to uh, present the Gordy article at her seventh statement. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, really? Present Oh really Miss Hart Were you really looking at that boat? What were you? Of course I was looking at it It was the only thing out there Any normal person would be looking at it I agree. Any normal person would. But you are far from normal. Phoenix! You're gonna get a whole lot of things thrown at you. What? Y'all wanna step over here and say that? I'ma throw hands with you, buddy. You are camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Hey! Order! Continue, Mr. Wright. You testified you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Hey! Well? Huh. <laughs> well, now y'all mention it. I did take my binoculars out and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Miss Hart! Are you saying you were not watching the boat then? Sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just, I thought, you know, I could be a witness to a murder and all. Kind of got excited. I was sure I was watching that boat till now. This is totally uncalled for! But hey, he got a photograph. You got proof. We can't see who's shooting who in us. Right, right. That's why I took this photo in. Hey. Witness, that's enough. You had a long day. Shut your pie hole. Dude, what an asshole. Shut my what? What was she going to say? She took the photo and what? She was going to enlarge it. Yeah, that's right. It'll drop the quality, but should let us see who's who. She enlarged that photo. Why won't Von Karma let her show it? I got a hunch. I bet that enlarged photo shows something bad for Von Karma. It's my chance. I'm wrong, though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth or worse. What should I do? 
Show it! I'm not doing the uh, Nickelback thing again. You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Yeah, I did! Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? Because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You're the one who told me not to show it in court in the first place. Gotcha. Yo, fool. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? Uh, <clears throat> Miss Hart. Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. The prosecutor should object to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. <laughs> the witness will show the enlargement to the court. Here it is. You still can't see who it is, though. We still cannot see who is firing at us. And that shows someone who is using their left hand. I'll accept this as evidence. Happy now, Mr. Wright. This has to be something. You asked for the enlargement. You got it. I'm a little good it's done, any of us. Alrighty. We have to do the opposite now. It's over, obviously. None too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. I believe it's time for me to declare my verdict. It's not supposed to go like this. Object to the enlargement. Your Honor, there is something decidedly strange with this enlargement. What might that be? Alright, here goes nothing. We, it's the gun. It's using his left hand. Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I'm not sure what I understand. What about the shooter, Strange? Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. A hand? The hand directly contradicts to another piece of evidence. It used the right hand. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from his right hand. Ergo, the man shooting this pistol in the photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Now that everyone in the court has quieted down, I'd like to reconvene this court of law. Mr. Wright... Yes, Your Honor. You've given us definitive proof today. We now know it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, who did? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? The victim? <laughs> Larry! <laughs> No, we're not going to do Larry. <laughs> There's only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than himself. Order! Order! So, you're saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Huh. 
Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. No, you're not. But suicide's out of the question. What? An examination of the victim's wound revealed the distance to which he was shot. The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. That's three feet! Because we don't use metric in America. There is no way it could have been suicide. Order! Order! Mr. Von Karma, are you sure of that accuracy of your data? Of course. I'd already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. O updated autopsy report. Shot from a meter away. Huh. I see. Very well allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the print on the gun revealed the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for the trial for this day. The court orders the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. That is all. This court is adjourned. Round one with Von Karma. So far, we're doing pretty well. Ugh, that was a close one. Hey! Don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, Mr. Wright. Well, yeah, but... What happened out there on that lake, anyway? If he didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter is about a meter away, too. Well, what? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. I was just kidding around. Look. I'm gonna go check on Maya. Oh, right. Tell her something for me. What? Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Would it kill you to state how you really feel with a thanks, Edgeworth? I request I requisitioned a transcript of Lada's entire testimony. Thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course we didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Lada's deposition. And with that, time to hit the pavement. Alright, with that, we will cut it here and I will see you guys next time. Later! Ghost.